right. Okay. Hi. Uh, here we go again. Finally, uh, Linda, yes, yes. my co-host. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Then, I'm glad to be here. See our new friend Obercrom. It's always interesting who shows up. Yes. <laughs> yes. So and now we've been you're planning up. on. Yes. We've been playing on this one. So uh, this is the uh, Abakan. So can you uh, say hello. hello to everyone? Hello, hello. My name is uh, Larry Abakan. A B A C A N. A B A C A N. Okay, so, good. Well, yeah, okay. To meet Welcome you. to join us today. Yes, and uh, we've been playing um, doing this Zoom for a while already with uh, uh, Linda. And finally, today we got to do this, and then we also have a you know a surprise guest Abakan join us today. So uh, uh, I'm actually kind of a blanking right now, my friend, <laughs> because uh, the YouTube session this morning uh, I feel like uh, that was a lot because I went through this uh, seven chakra, you know, open up thing, and uh, but. We're going to do this, so we're going to start it. So, uh, first, I want to talk about that uh, things are happening right now. Is that I feel the uh, spring is is a uh, you know coming ahead of us, and then I feel the energy start going and rolling. So that's why recently I connect with the uh, this uh, uh, crystal skull group about ten days ago, and. The spirit, uh, you know, show me their 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 post one morning, and then that's how I start rolling with my crystal skulls. Because I have been uh, neglect to try to work with them because uh, you know ray passing, you know. Uh, so, but finally, uh, we got some interesting uh, encounters, experience, the downloads that I had. So. Uh, That'll be something interesting that we can talk about a little bit, uh, not too much. Okay. But uh, yeah, then I want to uh, I want I would like to have uh, Linda to talk about her progress in her book right now, and then share with us because we're excited to uh, can't wait to see the your book published. Right. Well, I've been really lucky. Um, I'm. It's uh, get your book done, and it's Kapusha which is something I started with in 2015. And the way I did it was kind of um, just handwriting and doing it. And they had me working with a coach that's in Costa, R Costa Rica. And we've had our second meeting and it's, and he's pointing out, see some of the th things that I'm a little hesitant to tell about is some of the weird stuff that happens when you start this journey. And he was kind of talking because he's done several vision quests and he's done this work himself. So he was telling me about his. And so now I'm getting a little bit better focus on some of the peculiar things, Omicron, that you're going to start stepping into when you wonder how you get here and you go, oh my God, you know. And um, like my first uh, sweat lodge, it scared me and it was all kinds of stuff but this this big panther cat appeared and the snake appeared i mean large ones and and i had not any kind of reference as to what that meant or whatever i was really afraid i was going to die and i was going to be and that's what he had me talk about today the other day that i was going to die and i was going to be put in turlock which is a kind of a small town paper that woman dies in sweat lodge you know, and that my ex-husband would get my kids. So I was always kind of worried about things like that because I was being terrorized by him. So and now working with this guy in Costa Rica who has helped publish or coach people with 200 books, um, so far that one of the titles is moving through it, but then another part of it is actually talking about how the mountain called me, which you're gonna find out. And I didn't realize that when you're coming up here, it's Easter. Besides this going away party. So that's a huge thing, you know, and the, everything's so white and still is. It's supposed to snow, snow tomorrow. So through this process, I started this book in 2015. And a lot of the things that I wrote about are sort of secret doctrine. 
and I felt very uncomfortable telling some of the stuff because it is kind of weird. And this guy is actually encouraging me to share the weird stuff even more. He says, good people <laughs> want to understand that, you know, and how you do these things. So I'm a little, um, I wouldn't say shy is the word, but you know, how, what, what is the drive that makes you do these things? You know, and that's what we talked about on Friday, you know, because most people I was lost at, I've been lost a lot, but why do I keep going? Most people after they're lost several hours would either park and go to dinner and forget it. But I have the determination to keep going. And because I know there's something that I'm supposed to learn or do or, you know, and even and a lot of times it's not comfortable. So that's what I'm sort of writing about some of the challenges, you know, and like I said, I was a little hesitant to get into the very intimate details about that. Because I, I was I was just giving a lot of description and he said that's that's not gonna interest anybody. <laughs> so I'm working on <laughs> he's I'm working on the pre-editing before I get it to the publisher. And like yes. I said, this has been a work in progress. And he said, Well, why are you doing it? And I said, Well, I want to show people that a mainstream person, because we used to own a beauty shop that's right by San Francisco Airport, and it was we had nine mm -hmm. operators and three manicures. I was a very traditional and here I'm doing crazy stuff, you know, and I'm even questioning myself, but I had that drive to do it. And I wanted to share it because I think what people think is when you do spiritual life, it's a walk in the park, you know, like you see angels and fairies and it's so wonderful. It's not like that. You have to be very determined and you're challenged all the time. And often it's challenged as far as work. I mean, digging a hole or like setting up a sweat lodge. The first time I went to a sweat lodge, I figured I'd just show up and go in and it would be fun. But I had to build it and collect rocks and do the whole process because it was just part of the way it was. It was work, work and doing. So that's kind of what my book's about. And then having a business in Mount Shasta and, and all the people that I've really come in. I've been very lucky uh, that I've met some fabulous people along the way. And it's not always easy to, to run into people like, like when you come and we do Easter you'll see it's a very different group of people and like uh, I Ching is bringing you in which is really a gift because you get to meet people on a different level that a lot of times you wouldn't run into normally and I was always very lucky that way so and in a Native American church which is they used to fly in people from South Dakota and all these places but every other weekend I would never have met these people if I wasn't hooked up with the right people. And I've been very fortunate in that way. And I hung out with Wayne Dyer and different people. So I'm kind of touching Dyer. on some of that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I, like I said, I've been very lucky in the right places at the right time. And a lot of these people are much more personable when you meet them in those circumstances. It's not like they're on stage. They're just normal, nice people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. there are some that have huge egos but not all of them <laughs> so that's kind of what my book's about those experiences and and they're, they're sticking to it to get, yeah so that's yeah. it thank you yeah. very much <laughs> <You're> welcome <laughs> well he's been listening to my complaining and all kinds of stuff because about a week ago i was done i'm not going to do it it's i'm over it yeah. i i can't do this anymore so yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. So now we're in the birthing no, because, stage. Uh, <laughs> I that's guess. why I give you the uh, give you your, your your minute to talk about that. I think in uh, we're doing this, and then you talk about that in a po uh, more positive way. That's actually will lift you up. You know, help you a lot more better. You know, so uh, actually I did already told Abacon start writing his taking his life the notes about his life happening you know ever since we met but he has not listened yet <laughs> yeah, oh, i know that's okay though, yeah. that you you know what you can do too if you don't want to write it right away and do the journaling start recording some of it that's an idea easier you to know, talk than to write a lot of times well yeah, right. especially if you're a little stubborn. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> I, I didn't say I have that. My own, 
I have my own weird stuff. <laughs> we all do. That's 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 why the guy asked me. His MJ said, "Okay, so why are you doing this?" And I said, "Because I, I want to really share that you know along the way you have lots of turns and everything where you can quit, and the best thing is to keep pushing through it." you know and doing it cuz there's no accident is like you're on this recording why you know you don't know why right now I don't know. but <laughs> as you start stepping in right no but as you step into it that's a lot of these things i think why am i doing this this is crazy <laughs> but i keep doing it <laughs> yeah yeah you know uh my experience about this uh, spiritual learning spiritual journey it's getting so much fun every single day because just the things happen that you know it's not like I'm I I quit my job and then just uh, go live in the mountain and do nothing no because whatever we learn from this uh, spiritual journey we need to apply back to our real life i mean physical life okay and that's the purpose of being getting awakening from the spiritual world spiritual realm and then apply whatever you learn to your actual life and that's the that's a purpose behind you know but a lot of people they actually use the spirituality spiritual journey as an excuse to avoid facing their actual life you know and that's kind of a did them in me the purpose and then just kind of a, a wasted you know yeah so Abakan, do you have anything you would like to share with us so far? Mm. <laughs> it's okay. At this time it's not weird enough so nobody will be interested. Oh no, no no no, it's better if it's not in the beginning. So how how'd you get how'd you how'd you get here? Uh well, I met uh, Yi Chang <laughs> and uh, that started it. Um I uh as I have been telling Yi Chang I I've been told I'm psychic and I uh, uh can uh, but I didn't and I still don't believe I am. <laughs> but uh, little by little I am uh, getting messages and uh I know I have been saved by angels at least a couple of times and uh I appreciate I mean I I should have been dead by now <laughs> even not for those angels saving me and I I believe uh, this as far as my spiritual gratitude goes so far acknowledging that uh I have been saved there was in my mind no way that I could uh, have survived two car accidents if I had gone through it and didn't have any help and uh what was it uh like you have been reading about uh Michael the Archangel <laughs> and that beseech uh, his help with whatever and what happened lately but i called on him uh last week for something and uh what was it I'm trying to remember uh, you said you were you were trying to send your sister a message but the phone was not working and then you call up on archangel michael and then maybe like a few seconds later and then the message was sent yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> can i ask you a question um how long have you been seeing angels did you see angels as a little boy uh no uh i don't recall i yeah, i was just uh, seeing angel wannabes <laughs> That's a little boy. No, that's you probably have. You you just don't remember. Uh maybe so, but I remember being religious as a as a little That's boy. what I'm saying. Filipinos are so spiritual. 
Um, yeah, I, I wanted to be a priest when I was young, and uh, somehow I didn't get there. But I used to serve in masses, you know, yeah. Catholic mass. I, I I knew it. I Catholic. I knew it. Me too. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't a boy, <laughs> but I. I yeah, no, but I, me too. I, that's where when people do stuff, I always say they c apologize. And I say, oh, no, you know how to pray. You know how to fast. You know how to do do the spiritual thing. I mean, it's really good training. Uh, yeah, my background was good. In high school, I was uh, president of the student Catholic action and uh, stuff like that. And um, uh, that. <laughs> See, they, they, there's your foundation. See, all this stuff, if you don't have a good foundation, like uh, I Ching is saying, a lot of this stuff is psychological in order to get through it and to do stuff. And when you have that foundation of prayer and stableness, it makes everything so much easier because you do follow directions, you know, and you know how to fast. And were you a big uh, uh, advocate of like a, little, a lot of Filipinos with Mary? With Mary, what do we? Virgin Mary with the crowning uh, of uh, Mother Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mother yeah, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I just noticed too. that uh, yeah, uh, the Catholic religion is uh, is very big on Mother Mary more than right. anything else. Yeah. So you pray. I used to pray my rosary every night. I love my rosary. I have one yeah. right here. I have one sitting right uh, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I love it. That's good. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, when I took people on Vision Quest, you do 707 prayer ties. And the way I describe it is like a rosary. You do each color and you pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if people have that basis, and if you're not praying for yourself, say you get distracted, then you stop. It's sort of like the rosary. You have to keep a focus because it's about your life. Mm -hmm. So you're lucky. I mean, you're really lucky that you have that foundation. Of course you're psychic. You're just not mm. plugged into it completely. You already yeah. have it, see? Yeah, he I already has it. He yeah. doesn't he doesn't believe it. Yeah. Uh but oh. he will. He'll be he hangs around some of us. It's like yeah, the norm. I, I hope so. I want to. Because uh I think it's uh one way to connect uh, with a lot of people that you cannot contact physically and to know that you're connected uh, spiritually yeah you know okay when you were in catholic school did you used to let your guardian angel sit by you because in catholic school guardian angel is a big deal <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, uh no not really but uh <laughs> I, I used to pray a lot. Yeah. <laughs> see, see. To, to my angel. To, uh, see. To, to uh, be by my side. <laughs> see. <laughs> to to light and guide. I know guide. you're be shy about it. I know. That's yeah. so great. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I I have two brothers, one older than me and one uh, younger than me, and I know. Uh, they think I'm weird for being <laughs> so religious, <laughs> but it didn't I matter. I thought I should just persist it. because uh, I, I, I love uh, uh, just uh, doing the right thing, trying to be helpful to people, and uh, and I thought that's uh, that's the best thing to be. I, I obey my parents, be respectful. <laughs> and, right, uh, right. Well, see, that's yeah. what Yi Ching was saying when he does this stuff. Really, what it's about in the end and why you do it is to help people and to be mm -hmm. service to them as best you can. That's the whole point of all this stuff. It's not just to be this rogue person that's, you know, following spirituality and talking to the mountain and doing that. It's that you, you can be of service because people struggle with this stuff. Yes, to uh, and to to know the truth and to right. be part of it and to be able to spread it. That's the only way to combat what's uh, negative and not true in the world. 
Yeah. Well, and that's, that's the good. power. Yeah. yeah that's that, that's really where it's at. Thank you. Sorry, Avakan. I didn't know this. This is becoming like an interview. <laughs> oh, interview, your interview. Well, you said I. I was a co-host, so I, I wanted to ask the question. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that because actually I, I'm not doing this tonight because my mind is kind of blank. So I'm glad well, you're doing it. You know, my girlfriend who is Filipino went to sh- church every day, oh, wow. and she was, yeah, every single day. And she was, and she and I used to do ceramics together in the Bay Area and do oh. different things. And wow. so I knew, and her whole family was maybe not as strict as she was, but they were definitely highly motivated and nice people. So I would have been very surprised if you didn't have the foundation. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I admire that a lot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'm looking at the time. We have about five minutes left. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but it's uh, good. Chip. Yeah, I think uh, we got your part cover. We got Avakan's part cover. So I think we're well, good for today. <laughs> well, also, I think like Mother Mary and the angels are such a big part of what's going on now and praying and asking for their help. And I think it's getting to be larger in that sense. Because uh, like Omicron is saying, is we want to be, you know, a service, but be truthful and kind. Now, not everybody's mm-hmm. truthful and kind. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. So I am going to kind of uh, cut you two off and I'm going to show my... Uh... Oh, good. Oh, good. Sorry. Oh, how come it's like that? Yeah. Okay. It's dis- oh, disappeared. Uh, yeah, it disappeared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. okay. Okay, this is the bridge, bridges, bridge with the S. Okay, and then this is uh, I, I, uh, I took this one to the uh, store today, and then they were there with the singing bowls, and that's that's why uh, I got download during the session talk about seven chakra opening up. So this is the bridges. Okay, I don't know if I can show closer. Okay. Somehow, oh, there you I go. it disappears. Uh, That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So this is bridges, and then the other one is this. Uh, oh, this one is sore uh, source. This is this was a race, you know. Uh-huh. So source, and then this one was also in the shop with the singing bowls. So. So nice. I just want to talk about this a little bit because uh, I I talk about this in the uh, previous uh, video before about crystal skulls. The first lesson that the crystal skulls skulls uh, brought to us is that uh, overcome the uh, being fear of a dead, you know, because normally if we see like a skulls, we immediately think about dead. You know, so that's what the uh, their first mission is: uh, uh, have our have have us like overcome about afraid of dying. You know, that's one thing. The other thing is that they are all like a library. They have a lot of records and data inside, and they all connect to each individual crystal skulls in the world. You know, worldwide. So you can actually tap into it and then connect with them and getting like a Akashi records out of them, you know, when you're ready, when you, or whatever you need it at the moment, you know. So uh, like I shared in the beginning of uh, our sh- our session, uh, I started to reconnect with them. So I'm actually uh, re- reorganize my uh, skulls uh, with the uh, different grids. You know, so they they will serve the different purpose instead of before. I just put them all together in a circle, and I think it's time to kind of uh, uh, separate them, and then so I can use them in the multiple ways and the more more 
more powerful and stronger that way. So these are the two biggest one that I have right now. So just to share with everyone here. Yeah. Okay, that's what all I want to say tonight. <laughs> Good. Okay. What what would you like to say as a blessing with your skulls? As a blessing as skull? Yeah, for the people uh, who are watching this, you brought the skulls on. What would be oh, a blessing? Oh, okay. So, uh as a blessing for my skull is that joy healing abundance and the balance yeah those are the blessing that we're sending out to to the world or whoever is watching this of course there are more but you know this is something that just came through you know at this moment yeah, yeah. nice mm -hmm. good. thank you good. thank you for asking that question you're so good <laughs> i cannot do this without you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. You're, you're really good. You do it all on your own. You just channel it all from the higher, yeah. from the angels yeah, right. and all the masters <laughs> and star people. Oh. Yeah, well, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Abakan, do you have anything you would like to add? <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm, glad, I'm glad to meet you, Linda, and uh, yeah. looking forward to uh, meeting you in person. Come Easter. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fine. I know Easter. And it's gonna be at um at Joe's place from three to six, I think. One of the okay. main guys. Oh, uh, we should be there yeah. before then, but, uh, but I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Yeah. Right, right. Well, I look forward okay. to it. Okay. Thank yeah, you very so good. Much. Yeah. Okay, thank you everyone, and we will see you next time. <laughs>